guys, welcome back to another video inside of my channel. And today I thought I would do like a little New Year's Eve vlog because I don't know, I just told myself that I would do one after I do my uh, Vlogmas series. So I've been taking kind of a break from vlogging at the moment because I did my 10 days of Vlogmas and then I did a Christmas day vlog. Um, I was supposed to do a vlog on when we went to Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, but I kind of didn't. The show was amazing. Both shows were amazing, absolutely amazing. But in between that, I did not have the best time because, well, it was kind of the first time I've been away from home in a public setting ever since, you know, and it kind of, it didn't go too well. I don't want to get into it. Maybe I'll make a video about it in case you guys are interested because I know some, a lot of you like to watch my recovery updates and stuff, but yeah. But I thought I would come in here and tell you what we're doing today. So today, New Year's Eve, we are going to Westfields. It is 11. We're going to Westfields nice and early because it shuts at six. We want to leave by 12 because by the time we get there, park up, walk in, all the things, we don't even have much time in the stores and I want to go to a bunch of stores and my dad wants to go to a bunch of stores and get a bunch of clothes. I thought I'd show you the clothes I got from ASOS. And um, these clothes arrived yesterday, I don't know why I ordered them, but I ordered some, wanted to go for a new style. I've never really been into clothes. Like my whole life, I was known with the kid that didn't care about clothes at all. Like I literally would wear, I would go to school on like Mufti Day wearing trousers that I had originally cut into pieces, like cut holes into it from quarantine. And I'd wear a top eight sizes too small. It, it was a whole thing. But I'm trying to get into more like clothy clothes that will just look good on me and actually look good. So I thought of like a style would kind of be like an urban outfitter style. And I want to see if there's an urban outfitters in Westfield. It says there is, I don't think that it actually is though, but I want to go see that. Um, or like, a knitted vest kind of style, or like a, a, a jumper kind of style. So I'll show you that some of the clothes I got. This is just a school shirt. I want to get some like short sleeve baggy shirts from Westfield today, but I got this cute little blue knitted vest. It's probably my favorite one. It's like not like a vest to say, it's got like, little sleeves, but it's really cute and I like the design on it. Uh, I'm also wearing my iconic jeans that are my dad's, but they're mine now. I'll show you the other ones. I won't put them on, but like, look at this one. This is a brown knitted vest. This is really cute. I wore this yesterday in the towns and I felt amazing. <laughs> Here is like an off blue, off white knitted vest. It's really cute. It's a little bit long. I think I've got a, a really big size, but I feel like I'll be wearing this um, at home or maybe if I wash it, it will go in. Then I have like this little jumper that's like a brown, like woolly kind of jumper. It's really cute. That's really cute. And then I have this jumper, which is like a mixed colored one. It's got like brown and gray and creamy color and brown up here as well. I think this is cute as well. These are all like quite oversized, which was also the style I was going for. Then I have a green vest. This one probably fits me the best and it's an actual vest. That was such a rhyme, guys. But yeah, here's like a little green vest I have. Uh, but yeah, that's cute. And last but not least, I have this very, very huge woolly like sweatshirt or like, or, like jumper. And it's like very like baggy, it's got like bat wings. And it's really cute. But yeah, those are basically the clothes. I also got two pairs of trousers, but I, they're kind of small, I have very long legs. Um, so I might have to return them. And I wanna go to Westfield today and get some jeans, but yeah. Um, also, I, after Westfield, I wanna make shortbread because I haven't made shortbread before and I really wanna make shortbread. And my mum says she wants me to make shortbread. But yeah, so uh, expect some fun footage today, New Year's Eve. Let's finish this year off with a freaking bang, my goodness. Also, my room is a mess, and it has been a mess. Oh my god, guys, it's so bright right there. So guys, my room is a mess, and it's, I think it's been a mess since Christmas Day. Like, what? This may not look messy to you, but this is actually triggering my soul. Like, look how messy it is, and my tree is completely dead now. It's weird to think that I have a video on YouTube two weeks ago of me getting this tree and look. I literally just touch it and it just like peels off. I literally touch it and it just falls off. It's sad, but I mean, it's the end of Christmas. It lasted Christmas, which would surprise my last tree didn't because I didn't water it. I think watering it actually works, guys. It doesn't need soil. It just needs the pot that the trunk is in and then you just water it. It seems to last a bit longer. So that's a little tip of the day. But I'm gonna go brush my teeth and do all the things. No one in my family's awake, I bet. And I'm gonna jam out to Melanie Martinez. Because she's my actual queen icon, legend, moment, spectacular, never seen before queen. Before, 
at the moment. Um, I just love her music. <sighs> okay. Hi guys, I'm back. It's currently very much later. I actually just got back. It's six o'clock. It, take, it takes like an hour to get there, an hour to get back. But there was traffic and we spent a lot of time there. But yeah, so I'll kind of tell you. Uh, let me just show you what I bought. So I went to Urban Outfitters. I think I only bought from there. Oh, and Super Dry. There's the only two places I bought from because shopping scares me. But I will show you what I got. So this is my Adam bag. Let's see. Let's do a little clothing haul. So first of all, I have this t-shirt. I bought three t-shirts because I don't have enough t-shirts and I wanted to treat myself. Um, so it's a cute little t-shirt that says Soulmates. And it's like, you can't see because I'm using the ring light because it's too dark in here. But like, yeah, it says that and it has like um, a cute thing on the back and it's got Japanese and it's cute and it's long, very long. I don't know what size this is. This must be a big size. Oh, it's a large, yeah. I got like a large and a medium on another one too. My next t-shirt is this green one. I like the color. It says, New Adventures, Japan. Um, it was weird taking my dad into Urban Outfitters because everyone in there is kind of like my age. So I found it quite awkward, but it was fun. And he picked out this, not this one. He picked out the next one for me. Um, so I got this green one as well. And it says, Japan. And it's cute. It's just like, I think this one is a medium. Yeah, this is a medium. So it's a little bit smaller, but I don't really mind. And then the last one my dad picked out was this blue one for me. And he said the color is nice. And I agree, the color is really nice. And it says... We're... I didn't realize it said that. I thought it said we're wicked, but he picked up the one that says we're fricked. Um, interesting. Um, but yeah, so that'll be cute. I'm not gonna try all these on, that will take forever. But yeah, so those are the t-shirts I bought. And then I bought some jeans. These are the jeans. Um, mid-rise straight leg jeans. Jeans smell weird to me, I don't like the smell of jeans, but I need some new jeans and they're cute. So those are what they look like. Um, and I also bought these. I don't know what they're called. Oh, cargo, oh yeah, cargo, like, trousers. And they're like this. The waist is definitely too big for me. So I'll be using these little things and my belt as well. So yeah, I bought these as well. So I'm gonna plan my outfit for tomorrow because tomorrow my friends are coming around, we're gonna make a gingerbread house. So I need to plan my outfit. So, and then from Super Dry, I just bought these jeans because they looked cute as well, big and baggy. And I also bought myself a shirt because I don't want to wear my school shirts when I wear these like vests, vests I've got. So I bought this one and it, like it's a short sleeve, which is what I wanted. And like it's like a nice material. And it was really, this was more expensive than the jeans from Super Dry. These super, super dry jeans were originally 74 pounds, but then they dropped down to 30 pounds. So I had to take them. They were literally a steal. So what I'm going to wear tomorrow is this shirt. Uh, I think I'll wear my urban jeans and a knitted vest. I'm going to go put that on and I'll show what it looks like a little. Okay, so I think I'm going to be wearing this. So um, here are the jeans. The jeans actually look really nice. And I'm wearing this, like the shirt I got from Super Shy and this vest I got from ASOS. But I kind of love the fact that like you can put like, it kind of peeks through. It's kind of giving more a casual look instead of it looking like tucked in. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna get changed out of this. I just wanted to see if it looked good. So I'm gonna get changed like out of this uh, Outfit and then I'm gonna go make cookie the shortbread soon. Not right now, but I'll make it soon. But yeah I've literally been sitting here for like an hour waiting for the stupid butter to be room temperature I don't understand. What's the big deal with butter it being room temperature? It doesn't matter so if you want to follow along with this recipe I'm using, I'll leave a link to the description. Basically, you need 142 grams of um, melted room temperature unsalted butter. And also, half a tablespoon of salt. Don't know why, but I don't know why you want salt in your shortbread. Because you don't want any part of the shortbread to be salty. Anyways, whatever. I'm just trying to get the full recipe because I'm not watching a video. Oh my god. I love when Safari like doesn't work. He literally just didn't give us the right recipe, so I do have to watch the video. So you need half a tablespoon of salt. And then you just cream it together. This is my kitchen machine thingy that I was talking about in um what did I do? I think I broke something right there. The kitchen 
aid thingy. Uh, this is what it looks like. And then you just cream it together with this thingy lobby until it's like done. So we'll just wait for that to cream together and then um, I'll get back to you once it's done. The next thing you want to do is add half a cup of confectioner sugar. Um, I bought the wrong kind. I bought caster sugar, so it's not even the right sugar to use. So you need like half a cup, but this basically, confectioner sugar is icing sugar, so it's powder. And this is granulated. We need half a cup, so it's just, so this is what it's like, and you just tip it in. And then you keep mixing. Vanilla. Oh, this is vanilla extract. I hope that's okay. But he mixed it in as it was going, so I'm gonna do that too. Oh. Okay. So also while this is going, go do a dish or two, but I don't want to, so. Okay, so it he it's supposed to look like this. Like kind of like a buttercreamy, creamy kind of vibe. So we're gonna set this to the side. And now we need to get a bowl. I can't be asked to get a mixing bowl, so I'm just gonna get this bowl. Next thing you need is flour. I forgot how much flour. 180 grams of plain flour, or purpose plain whatever. Um, or it's one and a half cups, I, or two and a half, I can't remember. Okay, 181 grams is fine. So you just kind of like, Add it into the mixture as it's going, like, like, so you just like mix it. So let me add a little bit first. So just, let's just add a little bit of flour. And then you mix it and you just keep doing that. It's looking good. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to look like a nice doughy consistency. So once it looks like this, you just kind of want to like take it out and like knead it for a bit. So I'm just taking it out. So it looks like this. It's not a lot of dough, but like, hey ho, whatever. So you just kind of like knead it. So you said knead it, and now we need to make it into like a cube shape. Let's just like <laughs> try our best. So I will come back once they are fully frozen and I'll tell you how long it takes to, not the phone to freeze to harden. I'll tell you how long it takes once they're done. Bye. Hi. So it is currently 12.24. It's midnight. Well, it's gone past midnight. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. So let me just tell you what just happened. So, literally at like 11.15, we go to pick my brother up from somewhere with his friend. He pick him up from a party and take him to another party. Me and my dad, we're gonna pick him up from a party with his friend to take him to another party. So, it takes us like a good half an hour to get there. Okay, maybe like, maybe, okay, 20 minutes to get there. It takes like 20 minutes to get there. And at this point, we're kind of like, oh, it's taking so long. And then, we take him to, we get pick him up, and then we have to take him to another party, which is like 40 minutes. And at this time I'm like, we're gonna miss the new year. Like, we're gonna miss watching the countdown on the TV, whatever, it's fine, I'll just spend it in the car. So we're four minutes away from the destination. It's currently like 11.57, I think. And we're four minutes away from the destination. And he projectile vomits all over the car. When I say it was the most disc 
disgusting thing I have ever heard, seen, had to have the misfortune of being a part of. The, the noise, the, the, the sound, the, the, like, I, I, cause I, cause he was sitting behind me on like this side and I was sitting at the front so I could just see him and I would corner my eye and I would just like this. And literally before my dad could actually like stop the car and have it to a halt, I was out of the car running for my life cause it splashed on the back seat and it got all over the front console. It was an absolute, it was a mess. It was a mess. Do you guys like my hoodie? I my jump behind me. It's like, it's, I got, yeah, I showed you this one, it's from ASOS, but I put it on because I was cold in the car. This is probably the most triggering experience I've ever had, and I genuinely think that was my 13th reason. That was a joke, by the way, don't get, okay. I don't know what to say. I haven't finished my, my freaking shortbreads, they're still in the fridge. I forgot to take them out because it's been like four hours or five hours since I actually made them. And yeah, so happy new year, everyone. Happy new year. <laughs> okay, it's been a great year for all of us. And this is a great way to end the year. I mean, start the year. I mean, end the, start the new year. Okay, I can't believe it's 2020. Okay, Does that, the, jokes aside, n we none of us, we, we are fine. We dropped him off at the other party because he's staying there and never coming back. <laughs> I just want to go finish the shortbreads because I want to cook them before it gets too late. So let's get downstairs and finish these shortbreads. finished product of the shortbreads I wish you could smell them right now because even if you guys don't like them they smell so good they smell like buttery sugary tasty shortbreads if you just saw my fruit bowl I'm sorry for you and yes we do have moldy fruits in our fruit bowl if you don't that's kind of what it means so I already had a bite of this because I really wanted to taste it it smells so good but I'll have another bite for the ASMR Ew. Listen, naturally shortbreads are supposed to be thicker. The recipe was definitely for a thin shortbread. I'll show you a picture here. This is what they're supposed to look like. So don't think it went wrong. I went for a thin shortbread instead of like a classic, like Scottish focus. Instead of like a classic, like Scottish shortbread. It's like, it's one fatty. I want to go to bed. But I'm proud they came out well. Slow. Hi guys, I just want to jump on here because as you know, my like transition into 2023 was quite strange as I mentioned earlier with like the whole vomiting fiasco. But I thought I just wanted to come on here and just kind of like talk briefly about like what's happened this year. So like this year has been super strange. Clearly, I've been off school for two months Three months, two and a bit months, two and a bit months, guys. I've been off school for about two and a bit months. And like, I feel like that has been kind of weird because I'm not off school because of a school holiday, I'm off school because I'm a crazy cuckoo gal. Um, today was a really, really bad day in terms of like eating. This is what I ate for lunch at Westfield's, lunchish, yeah. But in general, it just hasn't been great. I couldn't like eat dinner today for some reason. I just like nearly started crying and I like ran away. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid. It is. But yeah, I think things were just getting a bit tense and things were getting a bit crazy and hectic and sometimes, you know, everyone has bad days. Um, the same thing kind of happened to me in London when I was watching The Cursed Child. That's why I didn't um, film it. There's not really much to say. I don't really want to sit here and reflect on the year for like five minutes because you guys actually don't give a shit. Also, I did this YouTube channel like two months ago, so you don't care what's happened before then because like it wasn't even like public or even spoken about. 
Where in the last two months, I've just been trying my best with this whole like thing. And I've been trying to like keep it under control. And of course, there's gonna be hard times. There's gonna be good times. And there's gonna be bad times. And it's just so crazy, like in days, you know? I don't know why I started speaking like that. It's kind of fucking weird. But yeah. So I just think I need to like, yeah. My New Year's resolution for this year is to not be so aggressive to people online. Like, I am a very dry texter and to me like I don't really care like as long as I know what I mean that's kind of my mindset of, like as long as I know what I'm talking to this person about like it doesn't even matter but like it really does because at the end of the day you're talking to the person and it's them who needs to understand you so if you're texting quite dry and passive aggressive then like you're not being very nice so I'm gonna try and be less dry to people. I know that sounds silly, but it is a big problem with me. Like, I dry text a lot. So I'm gonna try and be less dry, more genuine. But yeah, anyways, enough of the sad train. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, if you have been sticking around for the past two months. But if you're new here, then thanks for coming. I'll be doing lots of fun little vlogs in the new year, and happy 2023, everyone. And 2022 is gone now, so late it's gone it's january it's not even christmas anymore i'm really sad i wish it was christmas still but life goes on folks but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you liked it and subscribe and turn on the post notifications do all the things you know what to do if you like my content and i'll see you guys next time whatever i'm doing bye guys